Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. The uh, expressive upgrade. I want to see them. I want to see them express themselves. Oh, they like the frost buns. I don't know what that was about. They were saying research, research. I guess they're saying there's no research being done. We can fix that. Uh, let's do high temperature forging. Sure. We probably don't have to do all the research because we can't. We don't. We don't have any oil, as far as I know. We're just uh, getting our natural food over here. Someone mentioned in the comments that there is a hole here, so I gotta fix this kind of right away because we're venting out, uh, <laughs> venting out atmosphere in this little hole. We're just losing CO2 at the moment. But the pressure will get too low in here, and that would be bad, so. Gonna get that all fixed up. And I gotta replace my bathrooms, because uh, we gotta get uh, kind of fresh water going here, so. I think I will start with this one. We got a hatch in here. What's he doing in here? And let's start the bathroom crusade. And I always go to medicine. It should be lavatory. There we go. Now I don't. Do I want three of them? If I put three, there's a chance that they won't wash their hands. Now oh, let's just go with three. Uh, liquid pipe. Let's use abyssalite because oh we don't have much abyssalite left. Actually, this water is going to be pretty cold. Maybe I'll just use sandstone. We can replace it later if needed. Actually, I just realized. <laughs> We're going to be circulating it, so... We do want abyssalite. How much abyssalite do I have? I'm not... I might have to go dig some more up. Let's get the input pipe going. Looks good. So this will be going out and into a sieve, but I need a place for that sieve. I don't have any gold. Hmm. I should adjust that priority down. Would that be a good place for it? Probably not. Actually, I don't want to have to pipe it too far. So what I might do is... Take away that nice painting there. And kind of shrink this room a little bit. It's not really priority nine. That hatch is priority eight though. Let's get him out of there. And this area is getting pretty warm right around here. This heat is leaking out very slowly because this thermal conductivity is not quite zero so a little bit of heat is always going to get out of here i was thinking of going in here making a larger pocket for the air to flow into and then letting all this heat dump into the air and then let the air go into the vacuum so i might try that might take these out Build a ladder up here. Maybe right through the center. Don't want to go into space. Oh, that space there. Actually, where does space begin? Right there. Okay, that's safe there. That's safe. So we'll do that. And then we'll dig this out. We'll let this pressurize with oxygen. And maybe I'll build a... oxygen thingy over there. Sandstone should be fine. Because then we can seal this up. Let's put it through a valve first. 
Actually, is the valve gonna... Oh, this isn't a special room, so that's fine. So we'll go in here, go out here. Put a gas vent. Now the gas vent might melt if this gets too hot. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I could wallpaper all this off here just to get even more air, but I think I'll just leave it like this. So let them build that and eventually we'll be off the mealwood because we won't have any more dirt. We're gonna run out of dirt at some point. So now that, uh, do we still have a room bonus? Yeah, that's... Where's our sieve refinement? Do I have room to put the door in? No. So this has to come out. And we'll put some doors. Here and here. Put the sieve in here. And then we'll, we'll get our infinite loop of uh, water going. That'll clean things up a lot. These these outhouses are pretty dirty. Someone mentioned I should record at uh, 1080p 60 frames per second instead of 4K at 30 frames per second. And I did a few tests. I, I tried 4K at uh, 60 frames per second and I couldn't really see a difference. I know that uh, 1080p at 60 is a little bit smoother looking. Maybe I'll do a sample episode at uh, 60 frames per second and we can see if anyone notices the difference. It, it, it's a two-dimensional game, so it's not like super, uh, super high in graphics or anything. Okay, they're getting frozen in there. That's okay. Dig a little bit more of this. So that'll fill up with air. We'll seal it in. Let's turn the valve off for now. I shall leave it on. It'll it'll fill it up faster. And while that's going on, we got to deal with this little pocket of polluted water. Probably want to just uh, sieve it and send it directly in here because there's no germs in this. This is clean, clean polluted water. Or someone suggested I just manually do manually move it over with little bottles, but I don't want to put it in this germy water. Because once it's sieved, it'll be germy and I don't want to mix it with our, our, our nice clean water. I should probably get this stuff out of this tank. Actually, this was going to become our main tank. Maybe I'll just move everything up here. Hmm. Not quite sure what I, how I want to do that yet. And I also want to dig this out a bit more. Dig this all out. Let that fall in there. Oh, there's going to be... That's okay. I, I do want to deal with this up here. I'm thinking of draining all this water out. If I drain it this way, it won't interfere with anything. It'll pile over and end up in our tank. It'll be a mixed tank and then we can filter as we extract. That's the idea, I think. Oh, let's do some more research. Plastic's not gonna help us. Let's do... Liquid tuning might help in the future. I love that little stretch they do in the morning. It's so cute. Okay, they're not really fertilizing this. I have this at low priority right now. Which is fine because we have so much food. Yeah, 
Yeah, if I stop using this as a tank, then we can clear up all this space for base, base area. Oh, got a bit of sand in there. Oh, and I probably need more abyss light. So maybe I'll grab some from up here without going into space. I'm not gonna like going in there. Okay, where does space begin? Oh, space is there. That should be safe. Get some of this light out of there. Got the input pipe. Let's do the output output pipe here. 1700. So we're going to need more. That is going to go up here, up into a sieve. Stick that there. Oh, I should have flipped it around. Just to make it uh, easier. Actually, let's just do it this way. Input and output. Yeah, that'll be fine. Go over here, in there, and then the output will go... I don't want to waste too much pipe, but I also want it to be somewhat organized and clean, so we'll come around this way. And then eventually we'll re-reconnect and we'll get our closed, somewhat closed loop Actually, I need it to go into a bridge here. And I always forget how I'm supposed to do that, how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, we're out of this light, okay. We're gonna get some here in a bit. Go up a bit more. Anywhere else we can go and get it. Uh, some down here, that's all space. Do we plug our hole? There's a hole down here. That's all good. Kind of repressurizing. Oh, there's lots of abyss light here we can grab. As long as it's not in outer space. It is. <laughs> we could go up this way. sure that this that's all indoors yeah we can grab this maybe wallpaper that off I'm gonna let them catch up because they got all that to work on okay this is done how hot is this 600 degrees Let's grab everything out of there. I'll be back in a bit, because it's going to take them a while to build all this stuff. Okay, we might have a bathroom emergency here. Got two toilets out of order. Okay, one is back in action. That's okay. It's taking them a while to dig out that abyss light. They still haven't... Actually, they haven't touched it at all. So I'll be back once they finish. Okay, so I'm gonna set up our toilets here and I think I need a bridge made out of abyssal light right here. And it'll preferentially go into the bridge and kind of go in a loop here. And then everything else, if it backs up, will come out this way. And we'll send it back. Maybe, I'm not sure where we're gonna send it. Oh, we could send it to our plants. That would be the easiest thing to do, actually. So, 
we'll just make sure it's working first. So let's take this out. Oh, they instantly removed it. Okay, probably got a little bit of water yeah, sleeping down there. Let's clean that up. I could have emptied the pipe first, but I'm too lazy. So let's connect this up now. Okay, now that should go in a loop. This should be ready, bathroom ready, yay. Okay, now for a sink. And the reason I used Abyss Light is that the water coming out of the sieve is going to be at 40 degrees. And we don't want that kind of heat seeping out into the base. Kind of like this is happening over here. Let's do the next toilet. I'm kind of doing it, in, doing it in stages so we don't have a bathroom emergency. In there, out there. And the sink really only needs to point to the right. Because this door is, yeah, one to the right only. what I did. There we go. And eventually that'll back up. That would back up all the way to here without this kind of release valve, which we're going to probably send down to our plants. But I'm going to need a separate line for that. I think I can just come around this way. Let's just see. Now it's not going to be a lot of water. Maybe, maybe I'll do this a different way. Let me just think here. It's going to be germy water. Germy water is okay for plants, but nothing else. We don't want germy water going into the electrolyzer. Having airborne food poisoning is okay, but... I think what I'll do is I'll just send the bathroom water this way. Because ultimately, that's all we're going to have to sustain our food. I mean, we do have a all this water, but eventually we'll use all that. And all we'll have is the toilet overflow water. But our main food supply is going to be this natural food. It's not going to be these bristle blossoms. In fact, I should probably start conserving my dirt just for my hatches and take these out. Once they're fully grown, I will take all the mealwood back out. Now I got a good tip about uh, drywall because drywall gives decor. At least it's supposed to. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I thought it did. I was gonna try to put that in the bedrooms and stuff. Let's just put one drywall tile and see. The material gives a bonus, but the actual drywall, it used to give a decor bonus. Drywall, decor zero. Okay, never mind. They changed it. I was going to cover that all in drywall, but there's no point. Okay, there goes the mealwood. Let's just take these out. Once they're finished. The end of the mealwood era. Because we want to conserve that mealwood for our hatches. Take that out. And I'm not sure what I'll use these rooms for just yet. Probably take these out as well. And let's send that extra water in there. Which means we have to t take this out. Actually, I'm going to take this piece out right here. 
and make a mess. See, I'm lazy. But then, uh, if I had just emptied the pipe, I wouldn't have to clean up the mess. Okay, let's fish, finish this sink. And get rid of that nasty, nasty outhouse. After that bathroom, I'm, what I'm going to try to do is... Actually, I can probably just start doing it now. I'm going to put... I'm going to take these tiles out. So that the heat can escape. That's going to warm up this area really quickly. Okay, you... Get out of there. Quickly. How hot is it? 200 degrees already. Look at that. Okay, we're going to seal this up really quick. Hmm. Yeah, and then we'll go in from the top to get this gas out later on. The idea right now, though, is just to seal that in. Let that air get nice and hot. And kind of repeat the process to try to, <laughs> to, try to steal all this heat. Uh, that could take a while. Actually, it doesn't have to be all of it. Just this piece right here is exposed. Now we could use it for useful purposes, but Let's see how hot it gets in there. That that, that vent's probably gonna melt. Okay, what does it melt at? That's the oxygen, not the vent. Okay, gas vent. Melting point a thousand. It's not gonna get up that hot, so it should be okay. And then the idea would be poke a hole in here off to space so that this hot air, once it gets heated up, can escape. I probably should have taken out more tiles, but it's too late now. Can't send them in there, they'll burn. Okay, what other research can we do? Precision plumbing. Oh, I want to build the espresso machine even though I can't use it. How's temperature? Good, good. I do want to temperature protect the this side of the base, because... Actually, let's do it along here. I don't want to use a bis light. It's too, uh, too precious. This lopsided floor is kind of bothering me, but... Hmm. We could do it along here. I'd have to move everything down. And I'm too lazy. I'm not too concerned about the... Okay, let's just go like this. We'll, uh... Ultimately, it'll, it'll go like this. But this is all... Oh, that's not space in there, actually. I thought that would be all space. So we'll just... dig this way. So that'll be our barrier. And then we'll have to extend it over the top as well, along here. I'm gonna run out of water here. <laughs> oh, how's our bathroom? Oh, it's working. We're missing a toilet. Let's get that in there. Now, there's a chance one of them misses, misses washing their hands, but Oh, they all got a little bit of food poisoning. What? They got a lot of food poisoning. What happened there? 5,000 germs. Is there food poisoning in the food? What's happening here? Okay, there's no... Oh, there's a tiny amount of germs in there. Maybe during my bathroom redesign they got germed up. 
So far their immune systems are handling it though, so I'm not too worried. Let's take on another dupe. I think we're going to be okay. I need another bedroom though. Mouth breather, loud sleeper. Uh, I don't like any of you, I'm sorry. Next round. Okay, how hot is this in here? Not hot enough. We'll let it just continue to vent that heat out. But I do want to deal with all this. Okay, so let's... Is it safe to go in here and just... I think I'm going to go in here and just open this up. And let it all pour down. Should be okay. They might freeze at... Let's do just one tile, that way it won't... <laughs> it won't all come out at once. And let's get rid of this tile. See how that goes. They're probably gonna get hypothermia in there. Uh, well, it didn't really come out. It's sort of happening. Sure, that's a nice slow sn slow pour perfect now that's going to move that hot air down more and more and more and then we'll have to seal it off and maybe vent all this delicious oxygen out into space which i don't really want to do but but it's really hot oxygen We could attempt to cool it down, but I don't think there's any point. Yeah, so let's start building a ladder up here. Where, where's space start? Right here. So we'll poke a hole in here once we... Uh-oh. Oh, they're getting hypothermia. Oh, they're boiling up here. Crap. Let's go through the side instead, because that is, uh... I don't want them to walk through that. So let's cancel that for the moment. How's everything going here? Hatches are overcrowded. Let's crack some eggs. Sage hatch. Let's do that. I think it's safe to do a regular, a few regular eggs as well. And we got two epithermia victims. No. Oh, and I did some job rearrangement here. Oh, boom, the mech can go on to something else. I think he's already done this. Yeah, and this. So we'll send him back here. Actually, let's get him doing something else. Boom the mech. You've done that. You've done that. I've done this. No. Okay, that looks good. So I demoted everyone just so their stress level goes down. So morale. Nine over eight. Everyone's okay at the moment. Except for the hypothermia. Okay, that's all. Oh, they haven't done this yet. Okay, let's do that party. Eight. How warm is it up here? Pretty warm. Oh, they're getting wet anyway. That's a bit of a mess. This water's getting pretty full in here. I could let it overflow into here. That might work nicely. The only pump I have is right here. Uh, I don't think we need a pump anymore for anything though. How's the bathroom? I think it's okay. Oh, I never hooked that up. Oh, that should all be abyss light. That's gonna get warm in there. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna mop this. Put the tile in there. Oh, that water is in the way. Okay, how's this heat? It's working its way down. Hmm. Now, what should I do here? I could build a thermal kind of wall along here. Maybe I'll do that. Not even any, not even a insulated. Actually, we got tons of insulated tile. Let's just do that. Or do I want the heat to kind of spill out this way? Uh, hypothermia. Starvation? Oh, what just happened? <laughs> Where did all this water come from? Oh, no. What just happened? Did someone go to the bathroom? Is there water in there? Oh, no, it's touching the food. Okay, we should really have a stopper right here to prevent that in the future. Where did it come from? Strange. Hmm. At least it's freezing as it goes down there. Mop it up. They should mop the top first. Oh, our food is sitting in that. No, get this first. Pleasant chit chat as they mop. Okay, that's done. Working their way through this. Maybe there was some ice in here? I don't know. I'm gonna skip ahead though till they're done that. And then we're gonna do something over here. Not quite sure yet. Okay, I made a terrible mistake. I exposed some space here. <laughs> So all our precious airs lying out. Let's do priority nine. We don't want to lose our CO2 either. Come on, do it quickly. I think this little pocket of CO2 here should be okay. This food though, we got food in here, it's now rotting. Oh, don't click on that, it causes too much lag. Okay, that's space. Look where he just jumped. Okay, I think it's okay now. And I'll have to build a ladder up here to seal all that up. Space exposure there. Okay, let's make sure we get drywall in there. I think it was there. Just the one tile, okay. Okay. 
Any others? Uh, it doesn't seem to be. And I made a ladder here. I'm going to poke a hole right here. And only clear water should come through, drain into our main, or our other tank down here. I was going to move the pump up here, but... I'm thinking I'll just siphon off some top water here. For now. How's this going up here? I never really checked on it. Now if we smooth this out and block this out, we can get some more water out of here. It's mostly nasty water though. Maybe I'll just leave it. I was gonna build a thermal barrier along here though. Or maybe just the bottom and then vent all this air out. 300 degree air. Uh, it's still cooling down though. Let's see here, 1300 degrees. Maybe I'll just leave it. I think it's slowly cooling down. It is going to warm up this area, but I think that's okay. Might want to save this one one plant here. Uh, that water is kind of sucking up some of the heat though. I'm undecided what to do. I think for now I'll just leave it. It's not really harming anything. Yeah, we'll just leave it for now. Ooh, this is getting nice and full. So if I poke a hole here, it'll be forced to come down this way. I don't think it'll... If it spills over there, I think it's okay. Let's try this. Don't stand there. Okay, that should be good. Now it's the level's good enough that it won't we won't get any polluted water. We do have another dupe, let's see who we have. Uh ranching, digging, small bladder. Small bladder's actually good. We'll get more water out of them. Let's bring Max in. Max, you can be a digger. Oh, they get little crowns. Someone mentioned they get crowns when they're mastered their jobs. Captain G, you've already been a plumber, I think. No, you haven't. Okay, now you're a plumber. Oh, and we're going to bring a y'all well no fine back down to... Uh, have they been a research scientist yet? No. That should help with morale and stuff. Now, I notice we can build some new stuff here. We could build a juke bot or ar arcade cabinet. Arcade cabinet requires 1.2 kilowatts. And the jukebox 960 has to go in the rec room. It's, uh... How big is this thing? Five tiles? Yeah, I need to remove a painting to fit that in there. And we'll need a separate coal generator just for that, or a wheel and a battery. But that should make them happy. Having a juke bot. Juke bot. Now our bathroom runoff is coming through here, and it's occasionally feeding some of our plants. I probably don't need that many. But uh, we'll just leave it like that. That's not our main food source. Oh, look at the little face he just made. He had to go really bad. Okay, furniture. Jukebox. Oh, it just sits in the air? Oh no, there we go. Maybe I'll stick it right 
there. And we need to power that somehow. On its own wire. Now where can I put the... I could use this. I could use this in a battery. Kind of out of room here. Running out of room. Oh, we're missing a mess table for someone. Let's stick a table in there. Now, I know Michael's been asking to be in the game, so... Who do we just take on? Uh, Max. Max will become Michael. That's fitting. Not a big main, not a big name change. Okay. So we need power for this. Maybe I'll stick a wheel. I'll just use this wheel. So I'll make a separate circuit. Actually, I could put it down here. Hmm. Let's, let's do this. Do a wire along here. And we can... Actually, let's remove that. Stick a bridge in. Look how fast they built that. That was crazy. And this one will have its own wire. Come down here. Maybe we'll stick a wheel down here. A wheel and a battery. And I might replace that with coal later, but we're kind of low on coal, so. Stick a wheel there. Maybe some more decor. And then a battery. That'll keep it nice and warm in there. And do I want a smart battery? No. Regular battery's fine. So that should get that powered up. And research. Let's do something else. Uh, HVAC, sure. That's still draining nicely. Now if it gets too hot in here, we won't be able to vent without burning the dupes. So maybe I will seal it off and vent it. But this is just going to keep getting warm from right here. We could try to go in there and cap this off. That would be the smartest thing, but they're going to burn. Those poor dupes are going to burn. Let's try this. Let's try this. We'll go... Across this way. And do a covert mission to seal this in. We just have to do... Hmm, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> There's kind of no way around it. It's gonna be hot. Now, I don't want to actually dig this material out, because it'll just... They'll have to take it somewhere, and it'll be too hot, and... Maybe I'll do this. Actually, not like that. Do it from here. And then we'll do wall here, wall here, and hope for the best. And I really want to use a bis light, because I don't want any heat getting out this time. 10,000 would be 4,000. Oh, I can barely afford it. Yeah, let's just use sandstone. Oops. That's still draining. Is that reachable? Unreachable build. Oh, of course. 
What is this? Naphtha. That's unreachable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Here they come. Here they come to get hypothermia. And then boiled. Okay. You're not done. There's more work to be done. Why do they stand in the cold? Okay, now they can get up there, do that, do that. Let's mop this up so they're not getting their feet all nastily freezing. Maybe put a tile right there. Uh, if I mop that, probably gonna get, probably gonna overflow. But okay, let's blast through the night. I gotta be careful here. Oh, a bunch of water just came out. <laughs> Where did all that come from? Okay. Try that again. Maybe it's squeezed out of here? I don't really know. Oh, it's coming out of here. Yikes. Mop. Oh, they're gonna freeze. Okay, now they might... Now they might boil. Let's slow it down. Just in case. Oh, I think they're taking damage. Oh, actually, not yet. The brave souls. Oh, okay, now they're scalding. Oh, beast, get out of there. Straight to the med cot you go. Actually, I missed him. Beast, beastie, come over here. Go here, and then you're gonna go right to bed. And oh look at them all. Okay, let's try to do the last the last series here. And hope they don't get fried too badly. Hypothermia. Roasting. Hypothermia. No, don't get stuck in there. Okay, you can build a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Poor juicy. Okay, let's cancel that and we'll let everyone heal up because they just got they just got a whooping juicy we need more medical bays everyone's injured how hot is it out here oh it's not that warm at all we need more space I feel so constrained in here how hot is it over here? Oh, we can put beds in there. We can put a proper medical thing in here. But for now, we're just going to do... Just do this. And I'm going to skip ahead, because I want them to rest up, heal up. Oh, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> That's the first time I saw that in action. That was awesome. That was awesome. So all you need is one wire, one wheel, or one power source. Because even though it's 960, it doesn't run all the time. Oh, I want to see them dance again. That was awesome. How's it going in here? It's still warming up. Okay, yeah, I'll be back after they heal up because it's going to take them a little while. 
Okay, everyone is uh, cured up now. If they're about to go into relaxation hour, I want to see them dance again. Anyone going to use it? Now I saw them actually put water in these water coolers. It doesn't say anything about consumption. But that would be bad if that's using up all our water. Oh, they like omelets. Okay, I'm gonna get back to making frost buns because the food is actually getting low again. And this is no longer in the CO2, so it's actually this sleet or sleet wheat is still fresh but rotting. I don't really have any CO2 anywhere except for over here. Now we got to finish off that thing. Everyone's rested now. Everyone's back up to health. 100. So we're gonna go in here and cap this off. Priority nine. And that should, oh, there's a little bit here. I missed this piece. Oh, and this up here as well. Actually 300 degrees. Oh no. It had to be done. Get out of there. Oh, oh. <laughs> You can do it, Michael. Okay. Back in bed you go. Michael. And... Ooh. Max has 37 hit points. Oh, it's not Max anymore, though. Max is really... Michael, right. So, he's in bed. And the beast... Let's get him in bed. And we still had a little bit of heat pouring out of this piece here. 300 degrees, 400, yeah, I should probably seal that up as well. But this obsidian, that's just leaking heat as well. We'd have to go all the way up here. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's good enough. Probably not. Probably have to finish the job. I have to kind of go around the outside here. Where did the floor go? I think it melted. We can't really go up in here though, it's too hot. Hmm. Maybe we'll just try to cool this area down. Build a bunch of ice sculptures or something. Let's put some ice blocks in. Build a bunch of ice along here. I want to see them use the jukebot again. Okay, this food is safe. It is not full, that's good. Oh, this is CO2 down here. I could move my sleet wheat into this little chamber and I could actually expand this a little bit and put fridges in there actually storage compactor let's do that and then our food won't be rotting at least should we only need one 
And I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't be growing this bristle blossom. All the extra water we should be saving, because the only source of water is are the toilets. So that means we only get how much water? Let's see here. Uh, we get it's under plumbing. So we get an extra five, six point seven kilograms per use per dupe. But let's just do per dupe. So six point seven kilograms per dupe. And that water has to be enough to s sustain their oxygen. And the average dupe uses... Uh, 60 kilograms a day. 60 kilograms a cycle. So that's not enough water. So these little fellas, they're gonna die eventually. Because there's no way to make make any more water. That's it. There's the ice. Unless you guys have an idea how I can generate water. And we can't use algae long term because we'll run out. We got no source. Oh, the, the lag, the lag. Oh my gosh. I reported that bug about the lag on the food box uh, about four months ago, I think. Three months ago. They still haven't fixed it. Okay, what was that? I want to make that coffee machine, even though I can't use it. Oh, arcade cabinet. 1.2 kilowatts. We need some kind of special circuit for that. How big is that thing? Oh, there they go. Nice. Dance it up, beast. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of all these shells that have been littering, littering the landscape. And we gotta put that lime in our storage somewhere. I'm not quite sure what it's under. Lime. Where would you be? Raw mineral? Refined metal? Oh. Lime, where do you go? Consumable? Jeez. Well, maybe we don't have any yet, so it's not showing up. That could be it. Okay, there they go. Perfect. Now we have lime. Let's stick that in here. <laughs> where does it go? It is a refined thing. Not metal. Jeez. There it goes. Consumable ore. Okay. There they go. Clean up task. Done. This isn't really doing its job. I thought this would all heat up really quickly, but it is not. And we're running out of time here. Oh, that polluted water is probably going to get out. I'm going to wrap things up here. Continue on in the next episode. Let me know if you have any thoughts on generating water, because we are going to run out of water. At some point. Not anytime soon, but maybe in, I don't know, 500 cycles or something. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.